Hello everyone, so in this video we're going to look at the different shortcuts Faro provide in order to execute print and inspect expressions. And the first thing we're going to do is to look at the so Faro settings and when you're here you will type shortcut reminder, press enter and you will have to check that this checkbox is checked so that basically the shortcut reminder is enabled. So what is the shortcut enable? I will show you right now. So we'll open a playground. So go to tools, playground. And so from within this playground, let's write a simple expression. So for example, one plus two. And we'll try to print it. So right click, print it. So this is free. But what you can see here is that for the action printed, you can, have, you can use the shortcut command P. So that's what we're going to do right now. So press command P and this is the printed command. So the shortcut reminder may show you how to do the thing you do every time, but on a quicker way with a shortcut, a keyboard shortcut. So now let's look at the different commands. So print it, we just we just saw it, so it's command P. So this is free. Now if we look at the do it command, so this is this one, do it. Nothing happens, but we can press command D. What happens is that it will just compute the result, but without showing it to you. So for example, if we use another expression that is workspace open, this time if we do it, the workspace will open. But while if we printed it, it would both open it and print the result. So the result is a workspace. So for the printed command, the shortcut is command P, as you may have seen there while I was clicking on it. So we can do command P to print and command D to do it. So right here, command D. Now if we look at the two other most interesting actions you can do on your, on your expression, there is the inspect it that will open an inspector on the on the result of your expression. So right here, 1 plus 2 equals 3, so we have an inspector on the small integer 3, from which you can explore, and basically you have sort of a row with a variable value, you can go to integer to have different information. So this is really useful if you want to explore the result of an expression. Uh, we can even inspect this one, so to do the shortcut is come i, so this is the inspector on the workspace, so we have a lot of different things going on here. But basically this can help you explore your results and ensure that what you're using is correct. And the last expression that I think is interesting is the when you right click to the do it and go or command G. Do it and go will basically do the same thing as an inspect, but put it on the on the side panel like this one. So this is the same inspector on the small integer, but this will put it there. I can do the same thing on the workspace open, so either click right there or you can press command G. This will do it, so open the workspace, but also open the inspector on the side panel. So these are some interesting shortcuts that may help you to inspect the result and, or simply show the result of an expression that I think those are worth learning. Remind to check the shortcut reminders, so for each task you do with your, your cursor and your mouse, you can have the explanation of how you can do it quick on the bottom left.